And welcome to Nancy's Neighborhood, folks. And this is going to be kind of a different day. We have a theme today. And so we're going to talk about junior achievement of the Okoye region. And Adrian is producing today because I think Alex is sick. And, of course, y'all know Bryce has left me and gone to MTSU and is working at the NBC affiliate in Nashville. Big time. So we're going to start this today's uh, program with a video from Junior Achievement International, or National, or Jennifer, will, my guest will correct me in just a minute, but anyway, we're going to start with a video, if Adrian can get it pulled up there, and it's our 100th anniversary of Junior Achievement, great video, so Adrian, how are we? He's got it, okay, so watch this, folks. We started in 1919 in Springfield, Massachusetts. An answer to the questions raised by a changing world, where people moving from the farms to the cities lacked the skills and support needed to find their way forward. We endured through the Great Depression. We grew nationally with the expansion of the interstate highway system and globally with the advent of the jet age. As the economy moved from manufacturing to service, we entered the nation's classrooms. We were one of the first organizations to bring computers into schools and ran global business simulations years before the creation of the World Wide Web. Internationally, we persevered through the changing tides of history, offering hope in the townships of South Africa in defiance of apartheid, helping to rebuild lives in Eastern Europe after the fall of the Berlin Wall giving young entrepreneurs the tools to navigate emerging economies around the world, and empowering young women in the face of those who would seek to marginalize them. We have endured depressions, recessions, wars, conflicts, and apathy. We have reached 100 million people and have helped them become more likely to finish school, earn a degree, start a business, and escape poverty. Our efforts have been lauded by educators, universities, CEOs, and world leaders, and most importantly, by those whose lives we have helped change for the better. Now we begin our next chapter. In 2019, we are turning 100. And while we honor our history, it's important to note that we view it as the foundation for our future. Today, 60% of employers say recent graduates lack basic job skills, 90% of businesses fail in the first five years, and 72% of Americans say they struggle with money-related stress. Our goal is to ensure that the next generation is 100% ready to take on the world. Some may say this is work better left to those that are younger, newer to the scene, more innovative. But you don't make it this long without being innovative, adaptable, and open to life-changing ideas. Because when you start marking your age in centuries, it doesn't make you old. It makes you timeless. Because uh, that was about junior achievement, and we are junior achievement of the Okoy region. And I have been on the board for not a hundred <laughs> years, I'll tell you now. But I did not know some of that, Jennifer. Yes, almost. So <laughs> almost. Our, our chapter here, yes. uh, JA of the Okoy region, we have been in business since 1965. Wow. So this will be our 53rd anniversary. Fantastic. And you may have been on there... <laughs> I don't know, 20 Wait, years? I, yeah, I probably, <laughs> I think Tim Henderson may be the only other person that's been on the board as long as I have, but yes. I'm not sure he's actually been on as long as I have. But anyway, you know, people keep saying they keep me on because of the history. Well, I don't know that I want to be history, but anyway. But Jennifer, you're timeless. 
<laughs> thank timeless. you so much. Thank you so much. But Jennifer is our president now of, Okoi, of JA of the Okoy region, and uh, you've been there for less than a year. Yes. But we're seeing some wonderful changes and some wonderful things happening. And that's not to say it wasn't in the past, but new ideas and refreshing ideas. So I asked Jennifer to come on today, and then I asked Adrian to show this video. And then there's another video I want to show in a few minutes about volunteers. So so take it, Jennifer, and tell us everything you want to tell us. Yeah. Um, so as Nancy said, we're excited. Um, I have been on board since October of last year, so a little less than a year. Um, but I'm not a stranger to junior achievement. No, you're not. Um, I have actually was a banker for 20 years and volunteered with the organization for about 15 years and started on the board in about 2010 um, when we lost our president. I uh, decided to make a change in my career and come over to the nonprofit side and was thrilled about it. Um, junior Achievement is such a powerful mission. It is um, that. You know, as cliche as it may sound, these young people, they're our future. And Absolutely. they need our help. Yes, they do. And so at Junior Achievement, we our goal is to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in a global economy. And it sounds, you know, okay, that's one simple line. But what all do we do? So we teach them about financial literacy. So that family budgeting, company budgeting, um, what it's the value of insurance, the value of, you know, putting things away for a rainy day. And then we teach them about workforce readiness. Mm -hmm. So what skills are they going to need when they go into the workforce? So almost 50% of our employers now say that when children come out of high school, they're not ready to go into the workforce. And that's a shame because we try. And our education system tries, but it, you know, there's only so many them. hours in a day that's exactly for our right. teachers. And so we kind of come in, fill that gap, and it's an outside person. So, you know, they hear these teachers for nine 10 months a year. It's kind of like listening to your parents. Yes. Because you're hearing the same thing you think over and over again, right? Yes. And so our volunteer goes in, teaches them, has a fun little activity. So we don't do a whole lot of lecturing. It's a lot of activities. It's a lot of thinking games. Um, and then we teach them that, you know, you're going to need to be prepared to go to work. You're going to need to have your hair combed and be dressed appropriately and be prepared when you get there. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of jobs that you can go into with blue hair. Oh, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just some of those skills. Being able to communicate. As we know, nowadays, these kids are on their phone. They're texting. You know, they're losing some communication skills. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we work on at JA. And then the last thing that we do is we teach them about entrepreneurship. So how to start their own business. Um, these students are going to be our future business owners. Yes. They're going to be our future employers. And so we teach them how to start their own business. And in our high school program, they actually start their own business. And that is so awesome. Yes. So they come up with an idea um, and then they take it through creating it. So creating the product, they can make it themselves. They can have it outsourced. Our last group outsourced from China. Um, and then they bring it in, they market it, they sell it, they deliver it, and then they close down that company. And I'm happy to say out of the seven JA company programs, all of them have profited. Yes, and some of them more than others. Some of them but, more than others. But, you know, I, anything that is not in the red is good. Yes. Yep. So, um, but have a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, coming up soon is our Race to Achieve so this is our fifth annual, and Nancy, I know you want to get out here and do a 5K run. Cannot tell you how excited I get it about being at Tinsley Park at 7.30 in the morning, but yes, on a Saturday. Yes, yes. Uh, but it's a 5K run or a one-mile walk. It's open to people of all ages, so bring your children, bring yourself, bring your spouse, you know, bring your mother. Um, everybody is welcomed. We do a 5K run. Um, it is a certified run. So yes. if you're looking to qualify for a marathon or something a little later, um, our course is certified. Um, it's $20 for students, $25 for adults. And then if you're just going to do the one mile walk, it's $15. Uh, now, after August the 13th, that does go up $5. So yes. you want to make sure you get in and register early. 
Um, but that'll be August the 25th at Tinsley Pavilion is where we start. Uh, race starts at 8 a.m. and registration starts at 7 a.m. Yes, and I'm there to help with registration. You are there. I we, know. we start sitting up about 6.30. I know. I, I don't go around and put the little signs up like <laughs> Rick Platts has to do with the flashlight in the dark, but but yes. I try to get there to volunteer. Yes, and the good news is we're done by 9.30 usually. Yes. So it's a quick in and out in the morning. Um, we've got our nice little race t-shirts this year. So race to achieve certified 5K. Okay, that's yep. great. Um, and then we do have some sponsorship opportunities uh-huh. that are still available. Mm-hmm. So um, if you have a company and you want to be a chip sponsor, it's $750. Then we have some T-shirt sponsors for $500. Uh, we have a community partner sponsorship it's 200 and then we still have water sponsorship which miss nancy you always do for do, us do. for 150 dollars. so you know if you're interested just contact us at the ja office um we can get you signed up we can get you a sponsorship um, and then just come out and have a great time and i want to challenge all of the track teams in all of the schools city and county to enter your team because I think, I may be wrong about this, but I think Walker Valley has won the last two. Yes, okay? that's correct. And I can't go back any further than that because 7 o'clock in the morning is way too early for uh-huh. me to do all this. But it's great to see our schools out there participating. So I hope that our track teams will come out and participate in this. I know the city schools have them. I know the county schools have them. So, so that would be awesome if they will come out. Now, tell people how they get in touch with you all to do this. Okay, um, we are located on the Cleveland State campus. We're right across from the library in the little brick building in the parking lot. Um, so it's 3535 Adkinson Drive here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, you can contact us by phone. It's 614-8775 or look us up on the website. It's Junior Achievement of the Oak Quarry Region. Dot Com. com. Yes, yep. because I, I want my, my viewers, sometimes we have dot .coms on, sometimes we have dot .orgs. So that is ja of the Okoy region dot com. Okay, and so this is this is exciting that it's coming up. Now, this isn't the only thing that JA does during the year. Uh, one of the programs that I just love and I never get to participate in because it's during my work hours, but that's our reality checks. Yes. Reality check is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we take all of our eighth graders here in Bradley and Cleveland, and then we've also got one started in Athens City Schools. Oh, good. Okay. Um, All of the eighth graders go through a six-week program. It's called Econ for Success. After they complete that program, we go into Realville for their reality check. Which is always interesting. Yes. Uh, So at Realville, they get assigned a life at 30. They may be married, they may be unmarried, they may have children, they may have no children, they may have four children. And then they get assigned a life and more importantly, an income. So they may be a cashier, they may be a doctor, they may be a welder, and then they have to visit 13 booths that represent monthly bills. So you're real life. Yes, real mm-hmm. life. So housing, mm-hmm. insurance, daycare, groceries. Um, all of that. Uh So then they have to make choices based off of their income and their family needs. So it's very interesting, the ones that have (laughs) children, and they go to the daycare booth and realize it's going to cost upwards of $500 for someone to watch their child all day while they work. Mm -hmm. We have Mm -hmm. lots of questions asking if they can give their children back. (laughs) Or if they can That's my favorite, yes. send them out for adoption, <laughs> um, that just opens up an opportunity for us to have some other discussions. Absolutely. Um, and then we allow them to go back to school. So they get to see how their career attainment and education goes hand in hand. Because mm-hmm. most of the time, if you have the more education that you have, the higher paying job that you can get, not always. Um, But that does seem to tie in, especially in today's economy. Um, You get to see the ones whose parents have started to talk to them about Mm -hmm. the value of a dollar and the ones that have no clues. Mm -hmm. I love it when they walk around and their eyes get this big when they realize how much groceries cost. Car payments. Car payments. Oh, my gosh. You know, these fancy cars, they want the payment is 
Yes. Horrendous, yes. And our volunteers are there to help them make good choices, but sometimes we let them make bad choices. So, you know, the ones come in and they want to buy a brand new BMW and the payment is more than they can afford. Sometimes we let them make that mistake mm-hmm. and then they have to come back to us and say, I can't afford this car. Mm-hmm. And we do like real life. They can trade it back in, but they're going to lose a little equity. Mm-hmm. So um, it's a really good experience. We have four of them, them a year. Um, we Okoy, Lake Forest, Cleveland Middle, and then Athens City Middle. And I think that's great. And, and Jennifer mentioned something about volunteers. So we're going to take a little break right now and, and go to some of our commercials. Now, y'all know how I feel about commercials. You have to watch our commercials. You have to support our sponsors because they help pay our bills. And Jennifer and I will be back in a minute to talk to you about volunteers. And they'll be, we'll start that segment with a video. And then you all can see how much JA has meant to certain people. So don't go away. We'll be right back after these commercials. <laughs> 